guys and welcome to another ST video. Today we're going to have a look at a game called um, Time Soldier, published in 1989 by Electrocoin. And yes, it's yet another arcade conversion. And I couldn't find an ad for this one, so what you're seeing here is the uh, arcade flyer. And as you can see, the game is called Time Soldiers in the arcades, but Time Soldier on home computers for some reason. I don't know why, maybe they couldn't afford all the soldiers when developing the game? <laughs> And Electrocoin only ever published one other game on the ST, and that was Mr. Do Run Run, another arcade conversion that was pretty decent actually, so I've got some hope for this one. And Time Solus, the arcade game, was uh, developed by Alpha Denshi and published by SNK in Japan in uh, 1987, and I believe it was released in North America the same year, but we had to wait till early 88 to get the game in Europe. And this is another run and gun, quite similar to Ikari Warriors, because you have similar controls. You have these sticks that you can rotate, which allows you to run in one direction and fire in another. And the game also supports uh, simultaneous two-player mode. And comparing it to Ikari Warriors, I would have to say that this one feels more interesting. There's more variation, because you travel back in time and uh, get to murder all kinds of historical people, which adds a lot more variety to the game than, uh, than what you had in Ikari Warriors. And I believe the game was listed in uh, Game Machine as the second most successful table arcade game of the month in uh, November 1987. Personally, I never got to play it back in the day, but it seemed uh, pretty decent. I liked the, uh, the way that you can run in one direction and fire in another. So I'm pretty sure I would have been into this one if I'd encountered it back in the day. But hey, let's dive into the SD version now, shall we? And I have a cheated version, but I'm not going to enable the cheat just yet. We're just going to see how difficult this is. I'm pretty sure it's fairly hard. Yeah, Time Soldier with no S. Only one soldier. I'm not sure maybe this version doesn't have simultaneous two-player mode. Maybe that's why they removed the S. Okay, we're just going to get thrown straight in when we press fire. No menu. And we're going to travel back in time and murder historical people. It's going to be great. Maybe we get to shoot Hitler in the face. Prepare to warp. Let's do the time warp again, I guess. Ooh, that's pretty nice. So the game doesn't exactly, oh God, look like the um, arcade version. It's quite different. And I don't think the levels are the same either, which is kind of weird. We do get power-ups. We can power up our weapons. And I believe if we pick up yeah, more of the same power-up icon, we get a more powerful version of the weapon, a powered-up weapon. How am I missing? Oh, God. And I think we have a limited amount of power. So once we've used up the energy, we lose the power-up, I believe. And I don't think that's the right one. I don't want to touch that. I want to keep my multiple rocket launchers here. And their projectiles travel much further than mine, so that's a bit annoying. Oh god. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff to avoid. Please, please, please. Do I want to pick that up? I don't know. Let's try it. Yeah, that was the same weapon. There's a lot of projectiles here. We can get speed ups. Oh dear god, that was a lot faster. And the game runs pretty well. I'm pretty impressed. And the scrolling is really, Jesus, rather smooth. How am I missing everyone, please? It plays really smooth. Yeah, I was quite surprised. Oh, we get get the derpy dragon here. Ugh. No, no, no. Get away from me. The filthy dragon. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. You don't like me. I don't like you. Oh, Balls. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that. Oh, game over already. It does take some time to restart the game, which is a bit annoying, but yeah, you have to load and stuff. So I gotta say, I'm quite impressed by this. And another cool thing with this one is, I do believe that the, um, the game is using overscan. The bottom of the screen is actually outside of the, uh, the regular screen estate on the SD. So you can see that it flickers sometimes, and that's probably why. That is rather neat. Don't think that was particularly common back in the day. That means that the SD is actually scrolling the entire screen real estate. Oh, 
Okay, that wasn't too hard once you get a bit aggressive here. So yeah, it's scrolling the entire screen and it manages somehow to have overscan. God knows how that works. <laughs> but yeah, this is really impressive. And I don't know what that thing is over there. Let's go inside it. Oh, prepare to warp. Yeah, I think you can visit the various uh, time zones in, you know, your own order. And I think you need to figure out um, in which order to get this done. I think you need to save some of your colleagues, something like that. And it would seem like there's no two-player mode in this one because I haven't seen any way of starting a second player. And I think I'm going to be... Oh, God. Uh, using the cheat soon because it's pretty tricky. <laughs> I must admit. Oh, my God, that's pretty powerful. Of course, it pays off to be aggressive and not dawdling around because once there's too many enemies on screen, your life is going to be absolutely miserable. And I don't want that. Oh, I picked it up anyway. Oh, man. Yeah, the collision detection seems a little bit... A uh, little bit off. I was really far away. I shouldn't have picked up the uh, power up there, but I did anyway, so... Take that, you evil fiend. And this looks like the first level of the arcade a bit, I think. So they haven't really matched the, um, the time zones in which order they are played in the arcade compared to the home system here, so... And I think I'm dead again! Yeah, it's pretty tricky, but yeah, it pays off to be aggressive. Let's enable the cheat, shall we? And there's definitely some timing issues here. There's uh, yeah, some flickering on the lower part of the screen and also on the top half. I assume that is because of the timing, the overscan. But the game still runs very, very nicely, I must say. Very impressed I am, yes. Why do I sound like Yoda? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is very technically impressive. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to be as flickery on a real SD, I have a feeling. And I had some issues getting this to run in emulation on a standard SD. I had to go with an SDE, otherwise the game would just crash occasionally when I started it. Oh, I didn't do anything there. He just, he just died. Anubis just got tired of living. Which is appropriate, I suppose, because he's a death god, right? So let's go in here. Okay, we get some really nice graphics too. Color me impressed. I wish Electrocoin would have made uh, more games really on the SD. And what are these guys? Elves? Santa Claus relatives, maybe? And what is firing at me? Okay, there's some weird ocean living. Is that an ocean? I don't know. But something is sticking their ugly head out of whatever this goop is. Swamp? I'm going to stick with my whatever this is, lasers. I'm not going to pick up that rocket thingy. Oh, they are ninjas, of course. Silly me. Yeah, certainly. They do look like ninjas. And the uh, throwing stars are a dead giveaway, right? Yeah, this is really nice looking. I would definitely have been into this one back in the day. Oh, look at that fat... Uh, is that a samurai general or something? Oh, I just touched him and he died. Maybe I forgot to put on my deodorant today or something. Uh, let's get the power up. I don't remember what the P does. Probably something good. Let's not go inside here. Let's carry on into feudal Japan. I presume this is anyway. These guys looks a bit weird. Why do you have a waste paper bin on your head? And we get music and sound effects. Uh, pretty nice. I mean, the music is maybe a little bit minimalistic, but not too bad. And for some reason, I am now stuck. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, this happened before as well on the uh, when I was using a standard ST. Yeah, there's definitely some issues. I think these are emulation issues. And we get these friendly skulls popping up trying to murder me. But I can't do anything. Oh, balls. Here's Anubis again. 
Ah, it's pretty easy, defeating him. And let's not go into this portal. Instead, let's carry on. And yeah, there's a lot of issues running SD games these days. I don't know what the problem is. There's so many glitches and bugs and stuff. I don't really remember there being these many problems back in the day, but maybe maybe I'm just... Uh, maybe I just choose to forget, forget about that. <laughs> it's entirely possible, right? Uh, oh, I'm supposed to go that way, of course. The graphics are a little bit unclear at times, but they do look nice. And they scroll really, really smoothly, so that's impressive. I don't think I can go that way, no. And I'm not sure, can I go back? No, I can't. I wonder if I could soft lock myself in here. I don't, let's not find out. <laughs> yeah, this is a really solid conversion. Again, it's not really exactly like the arcade game, but it's a, a nice interpretation, I would say. And it's not insanely difficult either. I just wanted to see more of the game a little bit faster, so I just choose to go cheat here. Let's pick that up and let's uh, jump in here. Oh, I need to go to the Primitive Age. Ah, I am in the Primitive Age. So this is the Primitive Age. I see. Ah, yes, it is. These cave people. And oh, we've got some sort of... Hmm. Angry moles. Prehistoric moles. God, how many axes do you guys have? And what the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, the bosses are pretty cool. Uh, another annoyance, I must admit, is that the collision boxes for some of the, like, you know, shrubberies or whatever, are way too large. You get stuck on stuff constantly. That is quite annoying, but otherwise, I mean, there's not too much to complain about it. This is really well done. Good work, Smart Egg. I think that was the, the name of the developers. Or Clever Egg or something like that, I can't quite remember. But you can find it out to the right in the info section. Oh god, I don't know why I'm concerned here really, because I have infinite health, so who cares? Oh god, you are rather large. But I can just stand here and murder you. <laughs> oh, can I grab that? Oh, I can. Good. That's nice that it looked like that power up was out of reach, but you could still get it. I like that. Let's just check one more time zone. Age of Wars. Isn't that like every single age of mankind? <laughs> oh my. We got some really powerful rockets here. Oh, we got paved roads and stuff. Oh, yeah, this is Japan. Um, I think maybe or yeah, I don't really know. And why am I getting stuck on? All right then. Yeah, looks like I'm supposed to be able to step on this, but I can't. Oh, come on, move. Yeah, that's the only real annoyance. The um, yeah, the the uh, collision detection there with the environment. Otherwise, the sprite collision seems pretty fine. Okay, I'm not sure where you are. Aquaman, maybe. But you're dead now, so who cares? Yeah, the power-ups are really beastly. Yeah, this doesn't really look like Japan, does it? But maybe the enemies are just mixed into different time zones. Who knows? Yeah, anyway, I think we are done. It's time to hit the review zone and find out what some other people thought about the game back in the day. So, yeah, yeah see you there. SD Action awarded the game 69% and uh, one of the reviewers wrote From a gameplay aspect, there's really nothing new about Time Soldier. But the most important aspect of the game is that it's enjoyable to play. In comparison to earlier Commander-style games, the difficulty level is not set particularly high and a keen player will not have great difficulty getting well into the game. Fortunately, it's a big enough game with enough variety to keep up your interest. The other reviewer was less impressed and uh, he wrote Time Soldier is basically a futuristic Commander-style game, which I found to be rather boring. On the whole, I think it's best if you stay clear of this one. Yeah, I feel maybe this is a little bit unfair. Compared to many other arcade conversions at the time, this is uh, quite solid, I must say. 
Ace was more impressed and uh, gave the game an Ace rating of 868 mystery points and uh, they wrote An excellent conversion. The graphics are smooth and flicker free and the playability hard but more of a challenge for that. A very solid and playable game with all the flavor of the original coin-up surviving intact. Yeah, I would say that's more like it. I think I would have quite liked this one back in the day, at least short term. And with that, we are going to end the video and I'm just going to say thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, hope to catch you next time. Cheers!